How do I tell my girlfriend that the sex needs to improve? Man, y'all give me the wrong cut. Because I'll just be like, the sex needs to improve. <laughs> guys i know it's not tasha i know it's not stephanie it's Rhonda. i'm the cousin and i'm here for the takeover all right let's get into the video <laughs> what's she doing y'all Natasha wasn't here he was back there doing whatever he was doing so i just saw a window opportunity yeah. all right well i'm following you what, what you doing okay so this is a video where we are going to answer some questions a little q a all right, so before we get into the video, we want to ask that you please subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment, and share it. You know what? Yeah, I think really, that we should go oh, into the, the video. video. <laughs> All right, so we're back and we're ready to get started. Question is, should I come out to my family? This is a good one. I think we answered this on our last video, but... I wanted to get another perspective, so what do you think? I mean, it kind of depends on what's going on in your life. And I think it's definitely something you have to do when you're ready. Um, is it going to make your world crash down? Right. I think you have to consider all things. I mean, I know it's not comfortable being in the closet and you can't wait to get out of it. But I think you have to consider all things about where, you're, where you are currently in your life and how it's going to affect things. And do what's best for you. Don't feel like that you have to do it, you know, at this particular moment, you know, maybe a couple of months from now is better or a year from now is better, so. I really agree with that. I, I like that that advice. I'm scared to pick your questions. Ooh, you know, did you just deep as well, like, I am not deep. When the spiritual horizon hits 743. Be quiet. Okay. I can tell my girlfriend is in love. The feeling is not mutual. How am I supposed to respond once she finally said I love you? Woo. That's hard. Has it happened to you before? Uh, kind of, but not really. Like Tasha told me she loved me way before anybody was in love. She was just saying the shit, but I knew she was just talking. So it, was, it wasn't it was a, like I knew I wasn't hurting her feelings mm -hmm. by not saying I love you too. Yeah. But damn, if, if it was really somebody else in love, I've never felt this way because I feel like I get out of the situation before this happens to my current relationship i can use that as an example like i told my girlfriend six months into our relationship that i loved her mm -hmm. and i thought she gave the perfect response so she was like i can't wait till i get to a point where i can say it back to you well, she said that over. huh <laughs> i would i would be i would have fucking, fucking, fucking been like it's over <laughs> yeah because i don't know that's just my pride is too high oh no, like i'll be like mm -mm. No. i don't know i didn't feel that way at all But her response didn't hurt my feelings or anything because I went into it knowing that it could go either way. No, I'm good. No, no I would have been mad. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I, see, that's, the thing. that's why I would never do it because I don't, I'm not that strong to be able to accept that they don't say it back. So that, that rejection <laughs> like, so was too much? Yeah, so I automatically would never say it first. Uh -huh. I don't think I've ever said it first. Yeah, so hopefully it helps somebody. Don't do it. Oh, listen to this. How do I approach a girl I have a crush on? I'm not the kind of person to approach anybody. Let's say if you were out somewhere where it was, you were single and you saw somebody that you were attracted to, you wouldn't like oh, try yeah. to approach I guess them? I would. I mean, I would kind of just, you know, ask her, ask what she wanted to drink and talk. Because that's, that's the number one thing. Can you hold a conversation as far as I'm concerned? I don't care what you look like. I don't mean looks are important, but you know what I'm saying. How important are looks? Um, they're not the most important thing, but you do want somebody you're attracted to. So, so if everything else is perfect, but the looks were absolutely hideous, mm -hmm. do you think would, you would go for it? Hideous, like she, like she looked like a side. <laughs> hideous, like what? But I'm saying, you look at her and you don't like, you don't feel any no, attraction. I feel, I feel attraction. Wait, but physically. I feel, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I start to develop an attraction towards her after after everything else falls in the place. I don't know if you know that. Something else about them that drew me in about them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I can get past that. I could. So this question is, I'm a stud that enjoys penetration. I've gotten so fed up with being judged that I've considered going to men. Help. What do you think? My answer is you need to find a film like me. Who will not judge you? But even I think about it, though, how the community is. For the most part, studs that are into penetration, I feel like they do get like frowned, frowned upon. To That's what? Yeah, I think it is too. To limit somebody sexually and tell them what they should or shouldn't be doing, exactly. especially if they want it. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, because and then you know I also don't want to make you a, a stud feel like oh you must want to be with a man because you want penetration yeah, that's the like that's not cool either that's dumb because okay what about the the, the films who want yeah. penetration that no exactly penetration so. has nothing to do with wanting to be with a man but you don't be nothing but what you fucking want to be yeah and if everybody would just do that we all could just really be happy mm -hmm. I agree am I really a lesbian if I only like boyish females. <laughs> I think the person who asked me that, just by the other stuff that they were saying, they kind of wanted me to say no, because they don't want to be gay. Really? So it's like, oh, I only like boyish girls, so am I really a lesbian, or can I just say I'm straight, because I actually like manly women. Is what they <laughs> You can call yourself whatever Basically. you want, that's the thing, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it, That's you, what I told her. Yeah, you don't have to have a, a title, and to hell with anybody that judges you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like what you like, and you do what you do. And it's, it's really about everybody, I think, at the end of the day, wants to be happy and find somebody that they can be with. So if that looks like a masculine female or if it's, hell, a feminine man, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. I'm just saying. That's true. It's it, very, very it, true. Yeah, I mean, who am I to tell you that you yeah. can't be with a feminine man or he's in touch with his feminine side or whatever you want to call it? Exactly. I, I mean, mean yeah. you like, I married to a man, so <laughs> anything can be done these days. Basically, oh, Craigslist. Craigslist, you can find all kinds of shit. So that's true. You can put on there like I like tomboyish girls, but I'm straight. How do I tell my girlfriend that the sex needs to improve? Man, y'all give me the wrong cut because I'll just be like the sex needs to improve. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't be having no roundabout ways to do shit. Y'all, I'm so blunt with my life. Let's use you and Tasha, I guess, as an example. So even. But I feel like y'all personalities that Tasha would, could receive that the right way. Right. Let's say it was somebody who, was you know, sensitive. more sensitive, right. And they feel as well, they would be fucking heartbroken about it. I need that like I'm a different person because I don't give a mm -hmm. I've done that a million times. I'll be like, nope, I don't like it. Not, I'm not going to say all the time that I'm so rude about it. But I'm definitely going to be very direct. People people get defensive, especially about sex. <laughs> when they think they really do some shit. <laughs> and they not <laughs> like... You like that? No. Uh, okay. I had somebody who was not doing oral sex the way I like it. And I said, I want you to do this. And specifically showed her what to do. And she did it. And it was great. Okay. And then we moved on with life. Yeah. If you have somebody who's not going to accept what you're saying, it's not going to work out no matter how you say it. Lightly or directly, they still going to get mad and it's not going to go good. If I'm dealing with somebody that's sensitive, and I'm usually the kind of person that tries to be mindful of not hurting people's feelings. So like I'm total opposite step basically. I think I would be definitely be gentle about it. Or just even say like, you know, that felt good, but I think it would feel even better if you did this. I give them a pat on the back, even though they really don't deserve it. That's what I'm and I'm just saying, and then, you know, be like, well, I think you should also do this. <sighs> no? That's yeah, not no, I think that's good. Oh, okay. Um, uh, next question. Should I tell my straight best friend that I have a crush on her? Um say no. I do. It's not worth more than that because if you, I feel like if you say it to her, she's going to look at you differently and feel differently around you. Your relationship will be changed forever. Exactly. So. And she's probably not going to like you. If she's really straight, she's not going to like you. So then it's gonna, it's definitely going to be awkward. Y'all not going to be in a relationship and now you don't have a friend. Like, nah. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Please, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your first initial thought when you find out someone is bisexual? If you would have asked me this... Peace, peace. That's my, yeah. Peace. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we can be friends, but no. If I were single, would I date somebody who's bisexual? Maybe, maybe. It depends on our connection. That, you know, that's really kind of what it boils down to. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Where's my smash button now? <laughs> the smash is, the smash is happening. But, yeah, I would not, I wouldn't let myself get emotionally attached to somebody who's bisexual. Why? Because I just feel like that's the extra thing for me to have to worry about. Would it be weird for you to be with a woman that like both studs and fans? Would you feel concerned? 
like that she likes whatever yeah. the community has to offer. Mm -hmm. So you like that the person that you're with only likes fans. Yes. I love that. I mean, hell, I've never been with a man like that. Like, I'm still a virgin, okay? But let's say, who's to say that I, I mean, I really don't think I would ever be with a man. It could happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what I mean? No? Yeah, it definitely can. Why was it going to be a pause? <laughs> if I feel like a bisexual woman needs both. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at some point, she's going to want a man. Please, that's that's what I feel. Hmm. Like, that's what my spirit is telling me. Is that I'm not going to be enough. You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to be like, I want a, ma a masculine, just a man. To just be like, ugh. And, and, and just whatever man that So, you feel like being with a woman that only likes feminine women, it narrows down your chances of them cheating. <laughs> Definitely. So basically. I mean, if something somebody's wanting something that's totally outside of what you are, period, and you can't even do shit. Sure. I'm gonna be acting like a man sometimes. <laughs> Give you that manly side. You don't want no niggas at all. A masculine woman. Really? And my girlfriend and I have been together for three years. Her shit is so specific, y'all. Back in '72. Can you read the damn question? <laughs> okay. I'm a masculine woman, and my girlfriend and I have been together for three years. Not four, not two, but three. Things are perfect. Until other masculine women are around, I become intimidated. What should I do? Ooh, this sounds like somebody I was with. What should she? Do? What should she have done? Was calm her ass down. <laughs> That's what she should have done. You can't live life if you intimidate when other people come around. Like, and yeah. I think a lot of it is just you, that person needs to deal with whatever is happening in their past, whatever their insecurities are, if they mm -hmm. were cheated on, if whatever you know. It, and if you, you may have your own personal insecurities, whatever insecurities are making putting you in this position, I feel like you got to deal with that. So if that means you have to work on yourself personally, get therapy, go to the gym, whatever, because I mean, masculine women ain't going nowhere. Exactly. You know? <laughs> so, all right, our last question. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore, but I don't want to be single either. Ooh, I definitely say you better off being single because when you're in a relationship that's you miserable, trust me, it, it that can leave some very deep wounds on people. It really changes people sometimes. In the in the relationships that I have been in, where I wasn't happy, pretty much every single day I was miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, with everything, like it was constant arguing. I'm feeling anxiety when I gotta go home from work. You don't. You don't want to be feeling that. Trust you me, you don't. And I, I've been in my one of my relationships was really bad too. I gained a lot of weight, just eating my feelings, just mad. Didn't like the person. Didn't hang out with my friends anymore. Wasn't around my family like that. And it was like I was secluding myself to this person, you know. And I was a t I hated that feeling because I'm not like that. You guys are constantly arguing about it not being right. You know, yeah, like I said, it's, just, it's a dark it's place. Horrible. You do not it it is, you get out while you can. Get out. Mm -hmm. Trust me. The longer you saying something that you don't want, the longer it's gonna be till you find something that's gonna be good for you. Yes. So yeah, I think we're done, you guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. Comment and share. Yes. <laughs>